After the Lord was baptized, the heavens were open, and the Spirit descended upon him like a dove. And the voice of the Father thundered, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the feast of the baptism of the Lord, the doorway to the whole experience of salvation. To prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate the Eucharist, we acknowledge our human faults, our human weakness, and our human limitations. And we seek God's mercy, God's forgiveness, and God's consolation. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, with the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the River Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, Grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I behold, my chosen one in whom my soul delights. I have endowed him with my spirit that he may bring true justice to the nations. He does not cry out or shout aloud or make his voice heard in the streets. He does not break the crushed reed, nor quench the wavering flame. Faithfully, he brings true justice. He will neither waver nor be crushed until true justice 
is established on earth, for the islands are awaiting his law. I, the Lord, have called you to serve the cause of right. I have taken you by the hand and formed you. I have appointed you as covenant of the people and light of the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness from the dungeons. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord's voice resounding in the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they will all cry, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. The truth I have now come to realize, he said, is that God does not have favorites, but that anybody of any nationality who fears God and does what is right is acceptable to him. It is true, God sent his word to the people of Israel, and it was to them that the good news of peace was brought by Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ is Lord of all men. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth, and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The heavens opened, and the Father's voice resounded. This is my Son, the Beloved. Listen to him. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. John tried to dissuade him. It is I who need baptism from you, he said, and yet you come to me. But Jesus replied, leave it like this for the time being. It is fitting that we should, in this way, do all that righteous demands. At this, John gave it to him. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and suddenly the heavens opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming down on him. And a voice spoke from heaven, This is my Son, the Beloved. My favor rests on him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate today the baptism of the Lord. Yesterday it was the whole experience of the Epiphany, the manifestation of God to all humanity. And from that experience we find ourselves entering into the baptism of the Lord. It is important as you and I recall our own baptism because baptism is simply a doorway. It's the path. It's the step one step into only one and one thing only the divine plan of God in our lives that's all it's a doorway to enter into the divine plan God has entrusted in our lives you find today in the whole experience of Isaiah and the gospel text the acknowledgement of this child who we are as children of God here is my servant whom I uphold in whom my spirit rests. And at the baptism of Jesus, likewise at the transfiguration, you hear the clouds opening up. And Jesus is being acknowledged by the Father. This is my son, the beloved, the one I have chosen. Listen to him. My spirit rests on him. And that is what happens on the very day of our baptism. The acknowledgement of who we are. It doesn't matter what race, what belief, what nation, what creed, that we live in we are all children of God and that's the most important part that we find in baptism who we are before God as children of God as we cry out Abba Father it is good for us to enter into this whole experience today just to recall rekindle reframe that whole baptism of our life if it's good if you could remember the day of your date of your baptism and if you could still picture as an adult because baptisms in the initial early church was never about cradle of babies. It was only at adults that baptism was given. It was later on in the history of the church that the issue of children and babies who, who were not baptized were they saved. And so they returned back to the whole experience. But in the initial experience of catechumens, baptism was only for adults, matured adults who understand what it is to enter into this divine plan of God. And then we take a moment and ask this question, what is this divine plan of God? That, my dear sisters and brothers, is the mission that God calls us to. Missio, the mission. What is God asking of me every day of my life? It's not a just a one-day affair on your baptism and it's over. Every day, this sacrament of initiation that we enter in, what is God asking me every day? Even at this very moment, what is God asking me of today? What is God's divine plan for me today? That is why when you find the gospel text at the very end, the last words of Jesus on the cross, it is accomplished. It is finished. I've done the plan, the will of God. But we need to ask ourselves, do we resound this echo of God's plan every day in our lives? Are we faithful to God's life in our life? Do we live the life that God has called us to live every day of our vocation? Do we live it? That is all that is asked of us in the little things that we can do. But it takes a lot to discover and discern and to see 
if what we are bearing fruit in this divine plan of God in our life. Because sometimes we fall in sin. Sin simply means hata. In Greek, it means to move away. To move away from God's plan. That's all. And reconciliation simply means to come back to God's plan. That's all. And every day we ask ourselves the words that we use, the thoughts that we do, the actions that we go about, are we in line in that whole parallel journey of what God has entrusted to us? Because there's a restlessness to always move away into that hata, that different path that God wants, that God does not want of us. Just like Adam and Eve, in disobedience, they took the wrong path and then God brought them back to the garden. David took the wrong path and was brought back to the right path. There are so many stories of those who moved away from that path. But you and I have to ask ourselves, because baptism is just a doorway, it's the entrance to enter into this divine plan of God's mission for us. It's not a big mission. It's just to live in a very simple way what God wants us to live every day. Let us recall ourselves today this great gift that God has given us. But most importantly to ask ourselves, are we in the divine plan of God or are we outside this divine plan of God? We stand, we renew our faith. I believe one, one God, God, the Father, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and, and earth, of, of all, all things visible and, and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with, with the, the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On the feast of the baptism of the Lord, when Christ was revealed, at the beloved Son, we turn to God our Father in confidence as we place our prayers. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious, that they will continue to shepherd their flock with wisdom and with complete faithfulness to the power of the Gospel's resurrection through words and deeds. We humbly pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our country and its leaders, that they carry out their duties faithfully and justly, keeping in mind the needs and sufferings of the people. We humbly pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the poor and the neglected in our midst, that they will be cared for in their everyday needs by all men and women of goodwill. 
especially during these trying times. We humbly pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our prayer. For the solemn declaration of St. Anne's Bukit Metajam as a minor basilica today, that this recognition will continue to uplift the liturgical importance it holds and bring many to a deeper understanding of Saint Anne, the Grandmother of Jesus. We humbly pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our prayer. prayer. For every one of us, that through our holy baptism, we will be faithful to the teachings and power of the resurrected Jesus' message and the Church's teachings, even when the world is against us. We humbly pray. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For our own needs, we now pray in silence. We humbly pray. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Loving Father, as we gather in your presence here this morning, pour out into us and renew us the grace of our own baptism so that we may reflect ever more faithfully the image of your Son and to lift the divine plan entrusted to each of us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, like God of all creation, to goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of forever. Blessed are you, like God of all creation, to goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God of forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honour the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Stepping into the preface, we, we bring before the Lord the intentions of this morning's Eucharist. We recall our own baptisms. And we pray for all the catechumenates in the RCI who are preparing for baptism. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of Jordan you reveal with signs and wonders a new baptism so that through the voice that, come down, that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a death, we might know that Christ, your son, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. 
So with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, our sisters and brothers have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We'll offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold the one whom John said, I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God.
Let us pray. Nourished with the sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in the name and in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God reveal him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed feast day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.